Hey guys, hope y'all are doing all right. Uh, me and Anna miss y'all, miss seeing y'all at church, and miss having the uh, children's church lessons. We hope you're all doing good and uh, and, and having a good time at home. Uh, we wanted to we wanted to share just a little children's church lesson with you this morning on uh, sin and, and kind of the way it it affects our lives and how it how it operates once we allow it to get on us and and and, and if you think about sin, think about how it starts. You know. We always think we can control it when we, when we start out with it. You know, the first time you tell a lie, you think, well, I can, I can tell this lie and I can get out of this mess I'm in with mom or daddy or, or my teacher or whatever, and then I won't have to do it anymore. So we tell the lie and, and we get out of our and we get out of the trouble, uh, and then and then the next time that the opportunity comes up, it's a little bit easier to lie, and we don't we don't feel quite so bad about it. And the next time it's easier. And then the next time you don't even consider it. And then before long, we're just telling lies left and right and we don't even think about it anymore. And then all of a sudden we're just known as a liar. Uh, and that goes for anything. You know, the first time you steal and you think, you think well, well, Billy's got nicer shoes than I do, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take those shoes and then that'll, I'll be happy and that'll be all I need. And I don't have to do that anymore. And then a few times down the road, all of a sudden you're a thief uh, and you don't even think about it anymore. And, that, and that's kind of the way sin uh, creeps up into your into your life. You, you don't just all of a sudden turn into a murderer. There's things that lead up to that. You don't just all of a sudden turn into a you know a bank robber. There's things that lead up to that. And, and that's how sin sort of creeps up in our lives because when we first start to do it, we think we can control it. And so this lesson, this this is uh, this chocolate syrup here. And and think about your sin and and think about what sin caused. I mean, Jesus was nailed to a cross because of those sins that we just talked about. Jesus was nailed to a cross to save me from all those lies I've told and all those things I've stole and all that bad stuff that I've done. And it's, it's sticky. And once we start doing it, it just spreads and spreads and spreads. And it, and it smells, you can smell it and, it, and it affects everything around you. Um, so like this syrup here, if we take this syrup and I put some in my hand, Now right now, everything's fine. I've got this. I've got this well in control. It's just right here. It's not getting everywhere. But the longer that it sits there in my hand, and the longer I, I allow that to be on me, it, it, it'll get warmer. It'll get used to being there. And then every time I try to use my hand, every time I do a little bit more, you see it spreads, and it gets bigger, and it gets farther along, and it, and it and it gets. Uh, I can smell it. Um, and Anna can smell it, and it gets, and, and before long, you know, I try to use this hand, and now all of a sudden it's got into my fingers, and now all of a sudden it's spreading worse, and it's starting to drip, and, and I can't get it off, and, and so if I try to get it off, you know, if, if this is my sin, and I decide, well, hey, I need to get rid of this, I need to, to get this off my hand, because I can't use my hand anymore, you know, I try to wipe it, and get it off, and I can get a little of it off, but it's now it's just spreading out, it's on both hands. I keep trying to get some off, now it's all over the sink. So right now, if I just leave my, my hands like this, if I just just leave that sin in my life, it's gonna keep spreading, it's gonna get keep getting in different places. Uh, it's gonna keep affecting everything that, that I try to do. If I go try to, to give Anna a hug, it's going to be on Anna. If I go try to pet my dog outside, it's going to be on my dog. Uh, if, I try to, if I try to do anything, it's going to affect that. Um, and then everything around me is going to be touched by that sin in my life because I don't want to get it off. So if I, I mean, let's say I take a paper towel and I decide, well, it's time for me to get rid of this. So I try to wipe it off and, and I can get some of it off and, and, and all this. And, and it's a little better, but my hands are still sticky. I've still got it between my fingernails and uh, up under my fingernails and under my ring and it hides and that's the way sin uh, acts in our lives and there's nothing at this point that I can do to get this off of me. If, if it's just purely Clint's power that, that, is, that we're relying on here, I can't get this off of my hand. But Jesus tells us and like I said, Jesus came and, and died on that cross for this and, and he did this for all of our sins for everyone that watches this video sins and he made a way for us to get this off of us and for us to be clean again and to be restored 
I'd have a relationship with him. And, and Daniel, when he preached his, his sermon this morning, he sang a song that, that there was power in the blood. Um, or he talked about it once. But, but there's power in the blood of Jesus. And apart from the blood of Jesus, Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father but by me. He also told, told a woman in a story that we know uh, that there was a woman at a well, and he said that the water you're after, you'll be thirsty again once you drink it, but the water that I can give you, you'll never thirst again if you receive it. So we're going we're gonna to use some water now, and we're going to stop relying on Clint, and we're going to use this water and see if that gets it off. And... and as we turn the water on there, and we watch, now it takes a minute, but all that syrup starts to kind of go away and dissolve. And it, it's a process, and you have to make sure you're getting it off all the little crevices and all the places that it's hiding. And it don't just happen all at once. But if you keep your hand under that water for long enough, and you let that water work in, in your life for long enough. Before long, you look and you don't have any more syrup. Now all of a sudden, my hands are clean again. We can dry them off. And I'm no longer under that, that restriction and under that power of that chocolate syrup or that sin in my life. All of a sudden, because I used that, that blood of Jesus like this water represented and let him wash that off of me, now I'm clean again. And now when God looks at me, he don't see a sin-covered life. He sees an innocent life. He sees the blood of his son. And like I said, it, it, don't, it didn't happen all at once. You have to keep your hand under there. And if, you, if I'd have put my hand under there and I'd have got a little off and I pulled it out, I'd still have that effect and it'd still get sticky and it'd still spread again. But if we keep under, if we stay under God's, God's gift to us, if we stay under Jesus' blood, meaning if we stay in church, if we, if we keep reading our Bibles, if we keep praying, if we keep uh, doing the things that, that we're taught to do by our parents and by the Bible, then, then you can't, I couldn't pour that on me while I'm under that water. I couldn't, it wouldn't stick. And just like that, if we stay in God's will, that don't mean we won't sin again. That don't mean sin won't affect us but it won't stick to us and it won't spread and it won't take over our lives. <clears throat> so, so while you're home, while you've got a lot more time on your hands to think and to, to, to kind of progress in your walk with Christ, think about that. Think about what sin affects you and what sin you struggle with. It may be, you know, it may be anger. You may have, you may have temper tantrums or it may, uh, it may be lying. It could be anything. It could be not listening to your parents, uh, not being obedient. Whatever it is that you struggle with, um, uh, Think on that. Think on the effect of that and how that's going to you know, spread as you grow up and, and grow on into different things. And, and think about the way out of that. Think about what the Bible teaches that, that Jesus said, I am the only way that you can overcome this. You know, I can't overcome it myself. Anna can't overcome it for me. Daniel can't overcome it for me. My parents can't overcome it for me. But, but if I listen to what Jesus says and I accept him into my heart and let him live in me and guide me, then I can overcome it. So I hope y'all think on this for, for, for this next week and uh, hope y'all are all doing well and I pray that, uh, that, that God would be with us all during this time. I pray that he'd be with all you and your families. Uh, please let me around and know if you need anything and we look forward to seeing y'all again soon.